Hi, welcome back to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV. And we're here today with Rachel, who's Scottish. So finally we've found a Scottish person to interview. Yeah, go Scotland, go I know, Scotland. I know, I know. So, so Rachel, you know, talk to me a little bit about Scotland. Okay, you know, uh, your thoughts, how the Scottish feel, you know, you're talking on behalf of the Scottish nation. Do you, do you know something? Mm -hmm. If you haven't already seen the videos of the Scottish fans in London when we went to Wembley. Oh, I saw that. Exactly. Then if you have not seen those videos, you do not know what the Scottish feel right now. Like, we're so empowered because we're. this is the first tournament, the first competition we've been able to qualify in, in 23 years. Like, this is something that we're so passionate about. Like, we know we're not the best football team, but when we are part of something, we give all and everything, and well, I absolutely love it. Rachel, uh, you, you know, you said it rightly, okay? If you haven't seen it, okay, we've seen it. I think everyone's seen it, yes. okay? It was on the news, okay? <laughs> thousands and thousands of Scottish invade, invaded, okay, invaded London. London. yeah. And, well, pretty well behaved from what I saw. Yeah, they had a drink, they had a party. Uh -huh. And obviously, not being Scottish, I can't really, okay, describe the emotions, okay, that a Scottish person feels. Only you can. That's why I asked you the question. Do you know something? I absolutely, I'm so proud of Scotland. Like everyone has this, like these thoughts about Scotland that we're rubbish at football, we're rubbish at this, we're rubbish at that. But the first second that we qualified, it just proved that we're reaching that kind of step that we can progress further. Okay, we're pretty good at rugby, we're pretty good at golf and football. We've always had this kind of bad kind of. I don't know the word. I'm an English teacher, I don't even know the word. Well, results, okay. You yeah, haven't, we've you haven't had... done that well. Exactly. Okay, right? And um, I just You feel... haven't had much success. You could say that. Yeah, we haven't had that much success as a, as a national football team. But for us, when we won on penalties that time and we just saw all the players against running. Against Serbia. Against Serbia. Like, oh my dear Lord, I have never felt so proud to be Scottish in all of my life. That was like winning uh, a trophy for you, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. Like the first time in 23 years that we qualified for anything. Yeah. I, I can understand 100%. that. Being a footballer, 100%. having played football, okay, I can completely, okay, equate to that. So, oh, did you like that word, equate? Uh, I'm improving, hey, I'm, I'm an improving. That wasn't bad for me, that wasn't bad for me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so, 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 you know, now that you've qualified, crunch time, okay? We're down to crunch time. This is do or die this game. You need to win. We do, we do. We okay, do if you beat Croatia, you go through as one of the fourth best placed, third place teams. Yeah. How are you feeling? I really, really want us to be able to do it and I would do anything for us to be able to do it and obviously like being Scottish and being passionate about my country and my nationality, I would be ecstatic if we did it. I don't know if the, the odds are stacked against us or not, but I would, I think we have a good chance. Well, if you play... I think we do. Against Croatia, I think we have a good chance because they're not the strongest of teams going from their history they're not the strongest of teams we're not the strongest of teams and I'm not you know like belittling Scotland or Croatia but I think going from statistics we have a we have a chance well if 100%. you if you play against Croatia how you played against England yeah yeah I think you have a great chance 100%, of winning. yeah sure you should have beaten England. Uh, I'm sorry, so I'm English, but I, I no, I, 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 I agree. Like we played well. That's one of the best games I think that Scotland have ever played. And for us to come away with a nil-nil draw, Excellent that result. was absolutely incredible for us. That was that was, was an achievement loss. for us. Like, it was a loss for England. And it was a loss for you. And you know, you had Rio Ferdinand saying, "Oh, they're going to score six goals. They're going to go seven goals. Like score seven goals against Scotland." And then you That's came away with arrogance. a nil. Yeah, that is arrogance. That's just arrogance. And then for us, like for Scotland the, ourselves, to come away with a nil nil draw that was such an achievement for us but for even like it doesn't matter wherever we go as you've seen on the news all the videos on facebook instagram no matter if we win lose draw scotland is still going to celebrate because we're in the euros and it's not every obviously it's not the euros every four years but it's not every time that we, that we qualify for this yeah
Yeah, yeah I hear that. I understand you. Um, well, listen, good luck tonight. Okay, I will be rooting for Scotland. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> even though I'm English, I'm patriotic. Okay, and I say, come on, Scotland. Come on, Scotland. Also, because I've got a lot of Scottish boys. Okay, yeah. big shout to my boys in Edinburgh, Scotty, Chris. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm not going to get into a song <laughs> though yet. Anyway, anyway, you know who you are. Scott Ian you know Chris, do you know who you are? Anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching OTV. Uh, please put your comments underneath and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.